Well, hello there. Um, welcome back to Dicebreaker, where today we have a very special sponsored painting stream. Steamforge Games have uh, has companies a singular uh, sponsored us to paint some miniatures from Epic Encounters, which are these sort of like pre-made boxes um, that are five E compatible with um, what is it? The world's the world's favourite role-playing game, naming no names. Um, each one allows <laughs> yeah. you to run an adventure in the role-playing game of your choice. So they come with a little booklet. Mine is the Shrine of the Cobalt Queen. Lowly's, that's maybe overkill. Um, comes with a double-sided <laughs> map, but relevant for this stream, it comes with miniatures. Uh, in my case, I've got 20 of them, uh, and I'm just going to try and focus on one. I've primed it quite badly because it was cold and damp and I was using the end of a can. But I've got this kind of kobold on a schneck that hopefully will be easier for the camera to focus on once I get some actual paint on it. But um, the other two, it's safe to say, including Wheels with his swanky camera setup, um, are painting... Oh, it's so swanky, Johnny. Look at absolute... <laughs> but... Yes! <laughs> yes! They are painting absolutely massive models. Um, yeah, Lowly's, why don't you one. start while well, Wheels gets that? Oh, no, we should system. go up, surely. We should go up. So I'm in the middle. I've got one that's as, about as large as my head. I've got the frost jar. Yeah. Uh, but it's nowhere near as big as Lowly's. Well, okay, so I am new to miniature painting. Mm, new and I have a question. Yeah, yeah, but I'm still the newest out of all okay. of us, right? My question is at what point. Does a mini stop being a mini? <laughs> and I like, ask this because I have a dragon. dragon. Yeah. Um, well, it's smaller than a real dragon. So that is miniature. massive. That is an absolutely is enormous. honking enormous dragon. It's so thick as yeah. well. Too it's a nice sculpt. I like it. Yeah. It's um, it's great. Yeah. And also, it, it came on this bed of gold, which I've covered in uh, masking tape because I when I spray painted, I didn't want to like mess it hey, up hey. but i um, kind of see a little sneaky peek there of the oh, gold ooh. it's already it's gold cool. that's wow. yeah yeah, yeah it's it's like on a hoard of gold oh Just that's very cool yeah but it meant that spray painting was a bit ox yeah, yeah I no i can see why you would... <laughs> yeah. um right well uh yeah we should i mean you've got a lot to get through so we should really jump straight in but first <laughs> i'm going to say hi to a few people uh hello to nevermore jt gerdes uh, Frodo Baggins, Martin Cox, Aidan Fox, Stephen Harris, Cookie Cat 94, Oriel Gonzalez, In Felix Soro, Ferg, Clan, Kiwi Frutainer, uh, Hatronoth, Nathaniel Levy, Han Solo Chewbacca, uh, Skull Drugged Punk, Binary, SF, uh, Ricky McFadden, uh, Veronica Machuk, uh, Angel Beat is here. I think I already said Cookie Cat 94. Lots of people in the chat is, is what we're getting at here. But um, let us go for it. We've got two hours of painting time and I um, have set myself quite a steep challenge because even though this model is very very small compared to the absolute behemoths that the other two are doing, hopefully you'll see that <laughs> there are scales all over this little schneck. I'm going to try and do it in autumn colours which means that I will be using five different colours <gasps> on these scales oh. and I'm going to try and do them individually. They revealed a special colour palette as well. Exactly. Yeah. The sunset palette. There we go. So. Autumn slash the setting of the sun. That is my favourite colour so, palette. Um, I mean, I'm going to yeah, smash on some paint with one colour, but then I'm going to start actually touching uh, touching the brush on individual sc uh, scales. So good luck, me. Sorry, Wills. I, I like I... how Johnny was like... Um, because, you know, me and Lily's were like, oh, there's no way we're going to finish this in one stream. So Johnny was like, oh, is that, is that the plan? We, we do things that there's no way you can finish in one stream. <laughs> I reckon I'm going to get a good way into painting this snake. Uh, I don't know about the kobold rider, but luckily the first shade, I'm just smashing on some, uh, some screamer pink. So that's going to be fine. I need to water that down some more so it actually goes in between the scales. Thin your paints, everybody. Right. It's important. Well, Apologise for the upskirt angle that everyone's currently got on my frustration. <laughs> hey, hey. Um, so, oh, we've got a super chat from Connor Watson, who says, Hi, DB team. I wish I could stay, but I need to do the work stuff now. Thanks for all the fun content. Thanks for watching it and for the super chat. That's really yeah, kind. Thank you for the Especially super chat. Especially if you can't stick around. I always feel a little bit bad when people super chat on their way out. I'm like, oh, but... Yeah. Oh. Um, chat, what are you all working on? I saw some of you discussing things earlier on. Um, but... Uh, Oh, Ronnie says that Screamer Pink is one of the worst tasting paints. Really? 
Now, is that a true statement? <laughs> Better taste and find out. I did. Because I, I don't I really get use a lot of scream and pink. What are you saying, Wales? I use a lot of scream and pink. Mm. So I've probably ingested some some kind of pot. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Ooh, so I'm giving. There is a bit of I'm giving my frost giant. Yeah. Oh, there's a bit of a tang. There is a bit of a. <laughs> it's an acquired taste. Yeah, it's not one of the best ones. I'm giving my uh, frost giant sort of like a grey skin, so he looks like he's been frost, but, um which I think would be quite. I love cool. that clip of that guy. He wouldn't be long getting frost, but... Hey, that that kid is is fantastic. He's like he's one of those sort of like young people who is already forty years oh, absolutely. old. You know I, mean? I have no idea what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> I have no plan. Yes. So Excellent. I'm just doing things. Good. Oh sorry, I didn't <laughs> want to imply that I have a plan. I'm just sort of going out of this thing. Okay, cool. Um Sounds like Johnny really has a plan, so um, I felt I ha- I do have a plan. But um whether it will actually hold up, I'm not sure. Because if I were feeling lazy, if I were trying to smash out all 20 of these, because this is one of four such identical models in the set, uh, I would mm. just be dry brushing them. But um, I'm going to try and pretty this one up nicely. Paul Barrett has done a super chat to say, thin your paints before you ingest them. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That would be like just gnawing on an OXO cube. Disgusting. <laughs> Whereas a nice Salute. steaming pint of broth. Mm. I'm starting with the flesh because he's like, he's uh, he's got quite bare legs and chest and arm and stuff. So I feel like that's a good, good wide area. Yeah. For me to take things off with. Hatronoth has done a, a quite a cursed super chat saying Poop Man is going to be a tough act to follow. I had forgotten <laughs> about Poop Man. Poop For man, any of you, uh, let me remind yeah, you. Poop Man is a. 3D printed miniature of a man pooping. Oh god, I'm going to look away actually because the paint job he did, especially on the uh, actual toilet, is uh, horrible. Oh god, yeah, the actual. Yeah, 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 yeah. Poop Man is a a registered dice breaker trademark. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So let's see what people are doing. Rob M is painting alone using Miracrome paint to make shiny, shiny grey knights. Cool. Oh, there's Poop Man. There he is. There he is. Pooping away. Anyway, that's look. Get that off screen. Get no. Get that (laughs) off screen now, because that's. It's not from Epic Encounters. Um. Johnny's really into his censorship now. Oh, shut Mm. up. I know. I know. (laughs) Don't. Don't even start with me. Happens with age, I guess, you know. Trying to keep the young people down. I'll, I'll mute you both, I it's swear like to God. It's like that film, Footloose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But instead of dancing, it's it's uh, raunchy Kermit pictures and pretty <laughs> <sighs> I'd watch that scene. So anyway, let's see what uh, what everyone's working on in the, in the chat. Skills Loading is painting minis of my D&D party, despite being an online game, just having fun with it. Um, Aww. JW has just been singing and dancing to Rocky Horror. Got a meeting at four, so enjoying this while I can. Um, mm, 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 mm. Let's see. Uh, Jack Wood is working on some admec today, mostly basing. Uh, Frodo Baggins is working on a writing piece about how much about how Hades does completion much better than Crash Bandicoot Four. I love Crash Four, but geez, it's so hard to get 100 percent, and 106 percent will be even worse. Um, yeah. Oh, I mean, feel like. Quite different games. <laughs> I, uh, yes, but you know, I think that's still a valid comparison. Uh, Emmy Little has done a super chat. If either of you feels like reading out, we're a couple behind now, actually. Ah, uh, do it, ladies. I'll read it out. I uh, got paid yesterday, so time to give back to my yeah, favorite yeah. <laughs> favorite YouTube channel. I'm drawing an Amabi on my tablet. Uh, trying to choose. To co- well, trying to choose two colors, but I know what you wheels will suggest. Any suggestions from Johnny and Lolis? I believe Johnny and Lolis would suggest the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I suggest uh, teal or any variation on blue. Oh, then I, uh, I'm not going to say orange because teal and orange is such a. I mean, it's a good combination, but it's so passe now. It's um, pretty radical. Teal and 
It's a bit Terry's chocolate orange, I guess. Mm. Although it's not really teal, is it? It's blue. No, it's more like navy, I think. Yeah. Royal blue. I don't know now. I feel like I've, I've, ha, 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 I've painted myself into a corner. Something metallic, <laughs> maybe. Hadrian, oh, teal and silver. Hadrian 10602 has done a super chat to say, that's right, keep them in line, paint dad. Thank you, I will. <laughs> if you do like teal and gold, uh, yeah. there's, a, there's an army in Infinity that uses that and they look pretty cool. It's also quite Lumineth, isn't it? The sort of the new models that Games Workshop's bringing yeah. out for Age of Sigma, sort of the cow dudes. Oh, this is a good start. Got bad back already. Ugh. Excellent. Ugh. Thank you, camera, for, for zooming in on my face whilst I did that. <laughs> All right, so shout, out, shout out to my cam. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to my cameraman who. Uh, <laughs> tired. This pain, like, seems to very wildly in t- in uh, in darkness, depending on which part of the blob I pick up. From. Interesting. It's got very flat legs now. Obviously, I'm going to give them some shading and highlighting at some point, but just get the skin colour down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you got to slap the base colours on there. Slap that base. <laughs> slap it a base. Wow. Right. He's got his legs done. This his legs. Uh, Emily Little has Do done another super chat saying, Teal and orange it is. Sunset backgrounds. Uh, Amabi are from Japanese lore. They are meant to keep plagues away. Oh. So that is... Well, they're doing a terrible job. <laughs> oh, wow. Bright and breezy here on Dicebreaker. Another oh. painting stream just helping you escape those worries and paint your cares <laughs> away. Well, these scales are actually looking all right. Just, again, I think it's just because of the different thickness of paint, but they sort of stand out quite nicely. Right, so I've already kind of... You see the body oh, of the yeah. snake in there, but... Gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Sad Crow says, gorgeous. I nearly picked up some of these kits. The sculpts looked great. I have to say, I, I do really like the dragon in particular. Um, the dragon looks very cool. I like how chunky it is. Yeah. I just can't imagine, because, like, my, my, you know, I'm, I, I play with a DM who um, uses miniatures, uh-huh. and I cannot even imagine this on the, you know, on the map. I just, it would take up the entire map. Oh, I'd map. be furious. Um, well, I would be furious, obviously. Um, Mr. X No Name XO4 says, Hello, DB team. A question for you all. Have any of you played any of the older Avalon Hill games such as D-Day or Third Reich? That is a super chat for which we thank you. Uh, I don't think I have played any of the older Avalon Hill games. Um, either of you? Don't ring a bell. I'm going mm. to Google which Avalon Hill games I actually have played. Uh, Wasn't Betrayal of House on the Hill oh, no, no, no. initially Avalon Hill? From it, from yeah, there. that sounds about right. And then it got redone. Uh, Emily Little's done another super chat, saying also they are three-legged mermaids with a bird beak. That's amazing. Uh, three-legged mermaids. I know. I I puzzled at that as well. It's like, but maybe they've got fish heads, but bird beaks like a parrotfish. Oh no, I've absolutely not played any of these. <laughs> what are what are they? Avalon Hill. Well, games. so there's the trail. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's also Axis and Allies. I think that's a pretty oh, yeah. I widespread game. I don't think game. I've played it, but yes, I know people who do. Apparently Diplomacy as well. Oh, oh yeah. No, my copy of Diplomacy is Avalon Hill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Diplomacy, and, lots of it. Uh, num, num, Richard num. Garfield's Robo Rally. Ah. I've played Robo Rally, I'm pretty sure. Well, there you go. I've, I've only say, played Betrayal out of those, but... Yeah. Yeah, some, some big names. Robo Rally is great. If it's the one I'm thinking of, it's great. It's the program you want, right, where you race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Pretty sure. Right. I think that was one of the first games I played, actually. Mm. Oh. Right. So long, big brush. It's time for little, little, teeny, tiny brush. Why have you got a little zip case? Very nice. I know. I got given some brushes for um, my birthday. Yeah, my birthday uh, by my wife. Whenever that was. <laughs> I'm not telling you when it was. So there. Uh, it's more of a sort of, I don't understand time anymore joke. Oh, I see. Your old joke. <laughs> oh, okay. Gotcha. The amazing El Phantasmo is now in the chat saying, Good morning, slash day, slash evening, all. Oh, um, Frodo Baggins says, By the way, Johnny, how is your Blood Bowl collection coming on? I saw you had some dwarves a short while ago and was wondering how you were enjoying them. I'm kit bashing them. Um, I am 
kit bashing some character and overlords into a, a classic or standard, I should say, dwarf team. What t-shirt am I wearing? Oh, that's fine. Um, sorry, I need to take my hoodie off, but uh, uh, Johnny, I wasn't sure if it was I in feel the same like chat. Reading, if you're going to read out the name The Amazing El Phantasmo, you need to give it some real welly, you know? Like, it's a name that deserves fanfare, I believe. It does. Sorry. Mm, I agree. I'll do it next time. Um, Stephen Harris! <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> has... You sound like the guy, the X Factor announcer. Oh. Man. Maybe I can get a side gig doing TV voiceover for cut rates. Uh, Stephen Harris has done a super chat to say, Last finished Night Griffin. Nay, sl- navy slash sky blue wings. Deep purple slash lilac colouring on body and head. Deep ochre claws and beak and gold eyes. That sounds great. Whoa. Sounds very tasty. Oh, look at you, old. Oh, you are me old little corn red. You're all dried up around the edges. Don't yeah. worry, mate. I know how it feels. The classic. All thing. dried up. <laughs> this one's been with me since day one. Painted so many Skaven with this guy. Oh, yeah. If you haven't painted Raid Skaven, are you really a Warhammer fan? Oh, exactly. <laughs> Uh, we've got another super chat, or did you read that I one? I don't think uh, I from did. Conville Grindles, who says, You folk are great. I'm a total board game newbie, but still watch your vids since you're all lovely. Ordered a set ordered set of watch to see to see what's cracking. Amazing. You're in for a treat, my friend. Oh, there's plenty cracking, let me tell you that. <laughs> God, I love it. It is game. cracking, some would say. I'm still furious that we got some really is... rookie rules wrong. During our playthrough of Swords of the Coin. Well, I will point out, Johnny, when we started that video, I was like, oh, have you played this recently, Johnny? Because I haven't played it in a while, so I probably won't remember the rules very well. And you were like, no, don't worry about it. It's fine. I've been playing it All right, all yes, time. it's my fault. <laughs> I'm still annoyed, you know, like... Sorry, I absolve you from any blame. Um, oh. Good. What a good dad. Love being absolved. <laughs> I need to turn on a lamp, I think, because at the minute this red is oh, it is making a slight difference. It's fine, it's fine. Um, Luke Gray has done a super chat saying, "I need help. I have a line. I have a line of <laughs> groups wanting me to run a one shot in D and D, and I need some cool ideas. So I was hoping to pick your brains. That is a great problem to have." Okay, speed speed story hooks in D and D. Go. Uh, there is something it keeps coming to the town at night and um, uh, doing harmless but strange things like rearranging all of the cabbages in the cabbage patch. Who is it and <laughs> what do they want? Uh, next, it's two rival gangs are vying for control of a town. You can decide which one you want to team up with. Do they have to do a dance off? Yes. It's a dance off. Canon. Uh, Lolis? <laughs> oh my god. Um, if I could do this, I would have DM'd by now. <laughs> um... Just just think of a film you like and rip it off. Okay. I don't know if uh, if you guys have noticed, but our current Soulbound campaign is basically just the, the premise of Black Hawk Down. <laughs> uh, um, no, I didn't notice that. <laughs> You're trapped in yes. a place. Yes. Uh-huh. Maybe space. Ye- maybe yeah. not. And um, you are trapped in the grips of a black hole and you have to escape. Is this D&D? <laughs> no. <laughs> it is now. No, not really. Okay. There must be a spe- I'm sure there's a space. Yeah, game. yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's an everything day and day nowadays. Uh, a dragon comes to you for help because uh, a hunting party uh, is coming after it, uh, and it is a pacifist, and/or it's in love with one of the hunters and uh, needs you to help dissuade them. Because if it tries to do anything, it will uh, endlessly, endlessly, uh, inevitably kill somebody with its incredible strength without realizing or meaning to. Dragon love triangle done. Hopefully, those are some yeah. great ideas. 
Uh, At least one of them is probably service. Okay, we've actually got some super chats to catch up on. Scott Perkins says, going to put together my Infinity Minis that arrived this morning. Hopefully my super glue still works. Have a l wonderful day, Ooh. year lovelies. Yeah. And let me know which ones you've got. Yeah. Um, ooh, Mark goes... Uh, sorry, Max Goes Racing has suggested we do a redemption set of watch episodes. Maybe that's worth worth doing. Uh, uh, Michael uh, Bethel, Bethelson, I hope I said that right, said, just saw your TED, uh, TEDx talk, Johnny. Any recommendations for ADHD games? Also, hashtag Blame Wheels. Love you guys. Um, I don't <laughs> really know about any sort of games that have been um, specifically mentioned to, to help people with ADHD, I'm afraid. Um, I... I mean, I'm not diagnosed, but I basically have ADHD. Um, and I tend to find that, like, there are certain ones that really make my brain turn off. Um, stuff like worker placement. Um, I tend to find, like, having to plan a lot of turns ahead can really mess with me a bit. Right. Whereas games that are a bit more instant and a little bit more sort of, like, react to what's happening uh, are a little bit more easy for me to... To be good at sort of oh thing. you mean so you mean turn your brain off as in not as not in a good way as in like a you yeah out. yeah sorry turn, not yeah not turn my brain off as in get rid of the bad voices but turn my brain off as in like uh, it won't work out right <laughs> got it interesting uh michael melbourne meanwhile has done the super chat to say love the epic encounters boxes painting the red dragon bone uh red painting the the red dragon bone face black scales and red skin looking forward to goblin box and the hydra good job peeps um, Yay, dragon friends! Yeah, how are you getting on, Lola? It looks like you're actually smashing paint onto that thing. I am. I'm literally. Just... Have to with these big boys. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just. Uh, I just. It's technical paint I'm using actually at the moment, but I like the color of it, so I just went with it. Yeah. Um, I don't really know what technical paint means either. So. Is what that a night haunt gloom? I see. It is. It is. I think that one's technically a wash, isn't it? But yeah. So like I've done. Oh, but it is thing. useful. I've yeah. done like three layers because wow. I, I wanted it to be kind of um, see through y, but I also didn't want it to be all like showing the lines of my paintbrush. Yeah. So I've done like three coats. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a cool, oh, nice. It's a cool I have not planned where I'm going from here. Fair enough. Just vibe it. <laughs> uh, we've, Just vibe. we've got three super chats uh, to catch up with, and I need to remove my jumper. So if somebody could. I'll, uh... I'll do it. Thank you. Yeah. It's a bit warm, actually, isn't it? It is a bit. JT. He Gerdes has done Sue two super chats. Um, so the first one says, "I love super chats." <laughs> you all have such great costumes when you're playing TTRPGs on camera. Where do you typically get all the bits and bobs? Hey, Lonely, you're a good candidate to answer that one. I already have a lot of the bits yeah. and bobs. I'll be Not honest. I have a lot of oh. wigs, and I just put things together that I already have. Um, also, I tend to get quite creative. Like one of my costumes was um like my boyfriend's clothes and then i uh, got loads of cotton wool and just made a wig out of it and made like facial oh, hair i remember that is that the dead the kentucky fried chicken dr unk yeah dr unk forgot about that <laughs> oh i see that um jt has done a second super chat saying johnny's outfit yeah. for hengist in watch out hussar's jacket in hunter pressure and array of tunics are of particular interest um oh larping sites they're really good for yeah. them um, Although a bit spenny. Obviously. They can be a bit, yeah. There was one I found recently that was a bit cheaper. I can't remember though, uh, which is really uh, not helpful. But shop around on LARPing sites. Um, the Hussars jacket I bought off eBay. Um, I actually bought that for um, a game of diplomacy that I was playing over the internet so that I could uh, wear a, a jacket while um, pretending to be French President Eric Cantona. So. Uh, sorry, <laughs> once again, to the nation of France. Um, you must have been blacklisted by now, right? From France? From France, yeah. Uh, if I have, they haven't told me. But it's been a while since <laughs> I've been, so let's just assume we. We've got another three. Luke wow. Ray has said, thank you all, were helpful, can't wait to run these. Okay. You're welcome. Eleanor Smith has said, just want to let you know that I'm currently making my first D&D &D character. Yes. Yeah. My, <laughs> my unpredictable health made me worried about committing to a group activity, but after seeing you play online, I've joined my friend's group. Oh, wonderful. Yay! That's great news. That's really nice. Yeah. And another super chat from Smash Brand Discooch. 
um, who says, absolutely love these chill painting streams. You're all such lovely people. Remember, Johnny, keep calm and mustard big. <laughs> and then a little smiley face and then much love to you all. It's words to live by. Keep calm, mustard big. Ooh. I have also had to take the jumper off. It is toasty. Yeah. Today. Toasty. It is toasty. I'm toasty here as well. Right. I'm just painting this guy's feet at the moment. Scales. Scales. We have another super chat from Space Cornet who says, Hi, you lovely lot. These streams are always a delight. Have any of you played Samurai Spirit? Bought a copy today similar to the great set of watch. Oh, no, but if it's similar to the set of watch, I'm... Um, yeah. yeah. Uh... Does the Cornet work in space? That's my question. Oh, the... Can you... The entry? Yeah. Uh, I don't see why it wouldn't. There's no air. Well, in that case, if you're trying to play a Cornet in space, in a vacuum, you've got bigger problems. <laughs> but... Yeah, but let's pretend none of those exist. Does the Cornet work? <laughs> um, well, technically, yeah, you'd be able to force air through it and it would vibrate, but there would be no air around to further carry the sound waves so it depends on your definition of work like is it doing its job yes can you hear it no if a cornet does a toot in space and nobody has any ear to hear it does it really make a sound <laughs> you know? also my god it has really struck me today my hair is at the perfect length uh, where it really starts to showing off the smattering of greys i have coming in here oh. it's uh it's a, it's it's a feel good sensation I mean, they've been there for a long, old time. Um, I always, Everyone loves a bit of salt and pepper. I always found, um, yeah, Push It's just a classic song, isn't it? Um, <laughs> New it was the last time we went to the states together. We were on the way to um, to Pax East last right end of Feb, start of it was March actually. That's a strange oh. feeling. Um, I went to the bathroom on the plane. Uh, and uh, obviously, we were on a plane, so you two have been winding me up. But um, <laughs> I turned on, obviously, the light came on overhead, and it's just perfect for showing you all the greys on your head. And I just stood there for a bit going, oh. Oh, wow. This is, my God, it's full of stars. So I mean, if you were going to develop grey hair at any point, it would be travelling with us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, a couple more Super Chats. Cookie Cat 94 has... Whoa, oh. Don't see chat saying we just ended a mini heat wave of nearing fifty degrees centigrade daily. No, 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 no. Jesus. Thirty-seven degrees centigrade is a hundred in Fahrenheit. I think so. Absolutely not, Cookie Cat ninety four. No, we don't like that. Nah. Teresa S has done a super chat saying I'm usually crafting during these streams, but I really don't feel up for it. I'm playing Forager, forager instead, and hope you don't kick me out. Of course, we wouldn't kick you out, Teresa. The the important thing about these streams is it's you do whatever you feel like. Um, do you want to craft something? Great. If you don't, okay, that's fine. Also great. Um, Sometimes it's good to remember that doing nothing is just important as doing something. Yeah. yeah. Especially now. Yeah. yeah. I I've been struggling with this recently where I feel like I'm not spending time. I'm killing it. You know, I'm just like. Yeah. It gets to some evenings, I'll have dinner, and then I'll be like, what now? Is it bedtime? No, it's 7pm. And it's just like, oh, man. Um, there's something about a narrowed number of options that make the activities you decide to do feel like you're just doing them because. And that's a mm. difficult thing to butt up against. But it's also, if you don't feel like doing something, it's important to recognise that and uh, not do the thing. Here's an update on some scales. Uh, hopefully, that will focus. Yeah. It's not. Oh, yep. The color shift is not massive, but it's starting to come together. Uh, and I'm going to move on to an orange after that. So it's going, it's going all, it's going all right. I might keep sort of coming back and forth between this stuff. There's one stretch mm -hmm. of scales I think looks good, and the rest is bunk. Are you ready for my joke of the week? Yes. Oh, yeah. Sure. Why not? Why was the dragon full up? Um, I don't know. Why was the dragon full up? Because he georged himself. <laughs> little, little British joke there for you. Yeah, good. Yep. Although he was Syrian. Was he? Yeah. St. George. A lot of patron saints aren't from 
don't know. The country. Yeah. Yeah, um, what I really enjoyed about that, you telling that joke, was uh, as you kind of turned to be like, here it comes, uh, Wheels' camera did a crash zoom on the top of his head. Is <laughs> <laughs> when you look up, it zooms out, and then you yeah. put your head back down. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Starring Wheels. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely <it's> <laughs> incredible. Um, yeah, I knew you'd come around to it eventually. Yeah, all right, fine. Uh, DT, DDT83, by God, um, has done a super chat to ask, what franchise or fandom do you think would make a great miniatures game? That is a good old question. Hmm. SpongeBob. Yeah. I wouldn't hate that. <laughs> um, oh, that's tricky. You need something that's got like a lot of different things you could have as, as units. Sesame Street. Yeah, for example. Great. The Muppets, the Muppets. would be great. The Muppets miniatures would be fantastic. I mean, it's, I mean, if there was... Uh, there are plenty of miniatures games out there that are about naval combat, but if they did a Sea of Thieves one, I would be all over it, obviously. Um, especially if there were also island exploring elements where you had to fight skeletons. If it was, you know, sort of a bit of, bit of that. Almost Gloomhaven-esque. Ooh... That'd be delicious. Um, but um, I would say that because I love Sea of Thieves. Another super chat from Rob Deville. Rob says, Davio. Glad I... Deville. Who says, glad I caught this today. The streams from all the teams have been keeping me going outside of filling shelves for a largely dismissal... dismissive local public. Aw. That's really nice. Thank you. Thank you, and Bob. thank you for filling shelves for a largely dismissive local public. Um, mm. It is an essential thing that you are doing uh, in a, a scary time. So, you know, oh, God. more power to you. Uh, Jack Wood what? has done a super chat. Uh, they say, howdy pals, any advice for storing minis when you are owned by cats? Brackets, also very excited because I have an airbrush arriving tomorrow. Yes! Whoa, uh, watch some, watch some YouTube tutorials. Dana Howell's got a good one. Cult of Paint has some really good ones that really help me sort of get to grips with the start of airbrushing. Um, go slow and just work on your paint mixture. I think that's... that. F I've Annoyingly, my paintbrush is... My airbrush is in storage, but before I put it in storage, I sort of got round to thinking that paint consistency is 90% of airbrushing. I'm sure people would disagree, but... Uh, advice on... Johnny! Yeah... The question wasn't about I know. advice on air. Oh, okay. I was coming back around Sorry. to it. Any advice for storing <laughs> minis when you are owned by cats? Um, I Tupperware most of mine, to be honest. Just like lay down mm. a few minis with kitchen roll in the bottom and then kitchen roll on the top. But uh, I've been thinking about magnetizing my minis so I can just store them in a tub with like a metal sheet on the bottom. I I just sort of throw caution to the wind. You can see my miniature storage just right there. Wow. Uh, and I'll, I'll tell you about... About four times now, Rosie has jumped up on there and just and just sent everything flying. Uh, but that's just you know that's just how I live my life. <laughs> yeah, um, I've, I guess ultimately the answer to your question, Jack, is um, you'll you'll store them however your cats damn well say you'll store them. And mm. then... Yeah, because like Honey doesn't get up on the table, so I could just literally leave them on my desk and they, they would be fine. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Depends on your cats, I guess. We have some super chats to catch up on, and I have some scales to catch up on, so right. not it. I'll do it. Um, doo -doo -doo. All right, here's one from Smash Brandiscooch, who says, Gravity Falls Miniatures game for the win. Ooh, yeah. That is a super vibrant game world. Into that. Uh, is there Cookie Cat 94 has... No. Done a super chat saying, I spotted a lizard on a toilet. I suspect it was a Komodo. <laughs> <laughs> Genuine laugh at that from me and Wheels, which is impressive because I think with any joke, you get one of us, not both. Uh, yeah. But us, uh, mwah. Cookie Cat 94, you're banned. <laughs> Gosh. A bit of jealousy there from Overruled. Wheels. Overruled. <laughs> jealousy? Never. Okay. How come she gets to be jealous? <laughs> How come he loves her? Yeah. Excellent job. This giant has an entire deer just hanging from his head. Really not what I thought oh it was. Oh my god. Wow, he anyway. does. That's cool. That's... I like details like that that just prove how just how big a miniature is. 
you know, yeah, in in real world scale, yeah. Like um, so that the, the last sponsored page stream we did, we did these little um, uh, oh god, darkest dungeon minis. Uh, for context, just to show you the the difference in size. Oh <laughs> wow, <laughs> that is enormous. That is a big mini. He's a large and in charge. Rahul Raman has done a super chat. Say, hey guys, love your videos. I was wondering if there's any advice you could offer when it comes to writing a good backstory for your TTRPG characters. Um, leave room to grow. If you tell the story being like, and then I swore vengeance for the man who had killed my family. He died at the point of my knife, begging my forgiveness. I did not give it to him. And now I wander the land, yada, yada, yada. Like, a lot of your story arc is already told. And also, it's very hard to write a backstory where you're like, and I broke into the royal palace, and I told the emperor he was to die, when you're a level one character and you can barely tie your own shoes. So <laughs> don't be afraid to um, have something A, upbeat, or B, just scant on detail, or, you know, it's perfectly... Or mundane. Huh? Or just mundane. Yeah, it's perfectly... I think a lot of people for... think they have to be the most exciting person ever. Sorry, yeah. Karen. No, you're right. You can have a character to whom nothing interesting has ever happened. Um, and that's great because it means that, like, things they actually encounter during the play sessions will be more impactful, you know? Um, There's a, a principle in creative writing, um, which is are you telling the story of the most exciting thing that's ever happened to your character? And if not, why aren't you telling that story? That is good. So, so if the most exciting thing that's ever happened to your character has already happened, then why is he interesting to, you know, to play with all day, rather? Yeah, that's interesting. That's, I've, I've, I've not I like considered that. that. And it yeah. rings very true. Like One of the things I really had to get to grips with when reading Earthsea was the fact that all the stories skip between things. So at first, in the first story, uh, Ged is just like, a student wizard who really screws up and then flash forward to the next one he's head of the entire wizards college and you're like uh, but, sorry pardon me um and it's you know it takes a while for you to get used to the idea that he's not actually the protagonist it's the people around him that are more interesting and they're the ones to whom actual stuff is is sort of happening um and i think it's a very good and clever conceit but i think it throws people off when they're expecting get to be you know, massively powerful in the moment in front of their very eyes. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, skills loading as I super chat say, uh, recently learned that St. George's story was probably nabbed from the adventures of Jason. Loving my new DB mug as I paint a witch with either a very high belt <gasps> or very long legs to pa based on her dress. <laughs> <laughs> that witch has got legs from here to ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Do those legs go all the way up? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> What's that from? Uh, I don't know. Oh, is it Wheels of Ruth? I was just kind of making I a liked joke. it. Yeah. I liked it a lot. I, I liked it enough that I assumed it was a quote from... Yeah, I thought it was a quote. You made it sound like it was a yeah. quote. Compelling. That's what that was. Mm. Liked it. Good job. You're welcome. Uh... Ah. Right, there is a brown deer. We'll come back to that. Hmm. That's, block, that's blocked in now. Oh no! Nice. Uh, Most of the stream probably will just be blocking, to be honest. Hmm. Um, oh, we've had a super chat from Roswald Walton, who says, "As a disabled person, I want to have a D and D character who's also disabled. Any advice? I've seen, <coughs> excuse me, a lot about how we're not really represented." Um, Disabled representation in, in role-playing games, but especially in D&D, is a very uh, hot topic right now. Um, mm -hmm. If you, I don't know if you're aware of Mustang Art, um, but uh, let's, I'll link to their Twitter. Uh, they are a um, disability advocate uh, who is the... Um, uh, they're the adventurer, uh, adventure. They're the in inventor, basically, of the um, the combat wheelchair, which is um, uh, an add-on for for D and D, um, which uh, allow like it, it allows for play with it and rules specifically for 
uh, wheelchair um, users in Dungeons and Dragons, which is brilliant. I believe it's even uh, the the wheelchair has even been featured on Critical Role, which is pretty mm-hmm. great. But um, uh, as a, apart from that, I would say, in terms of having that representation, I don't know if you're talking about as a player or a DM, but uh, if you are talking about it as a player, having a conversation with the DM and then sort of saying, you know, here's what I would like to to bring across in my character, but also just have represented in the world. Can we talk a bit specifically about how disability is handled in in this game world? And you know, uh, because obviously it's it's about your own personal preferences. Some people may find it, you know, um, really unappealing or distasteful to explore the kind of attitudes that people have especially negative ones towards disabled people in the world some people may find it cathartic and i think setting that out from the outset is is a really good way to go because it means that you can have it feature in a way that is meaningful but also you can do it without fear that it's going to ambush you and suddenly you're you know you're living in a really ableist world um so i think definitely i mean Mustang has uh, got some great links to other sort of uh, disability advocates and um, frequently puts out fascinating threads on the topic. So I would say that they are a great source of um, of information about that kind of thing. But also just think about how you want it to be in the games you play in and then take explicit steps to sort of help realise that. And hopefully the people you're playing with will be receptive and um, excited about it and, you know... Um, accommodating and if they aren't uh you deserve better people at your table mm-hmm. there's uh another super chat here from scott gooch uh who says cowboy bebop sorry <laughs> cowboy bebop is told like that the main characters are not the main characters of each episode until they face the things that tie into their past amazing yeah i think i think that's a pretty common trope it's like um mad max i remember when um fury road came out and everyone's like oh it's you barely even see Max in it. It's like, well, yeah, he's not the main character. He's just sort of like the the vehicle for how the stories are told in this world, you know? Yeah. Wait, Mad Max is the car? <laughs> yeah. You don't know that? I actually haven't seen <laughs> Fury Road yet. Oh, it's crap. I know, I know I should have. I've had it on Blu-ray since it came out. I just haven't watched it yet. I'm terrible at watching things. I think it's like probably one of the best action movies ever made. Dang. I mean, yeah, I've, I've heard universally good things about it, so... Okay. Does this guy have a mustache? That is not something I can make out from here. Oh, I forgot. Uh, Mustang has also worked with um, Artel Sorian on like the Witcher RPG and stuff, uh, and they have mm-hmm. um, all sorts of sort of uh, add-ons for Witcher gear for uh, disabled witches. Because Geralt of Rivia, Rivia is disabled. Um, he has like lasting nerve damage and I believe sort of arthritic pain in his shoulder or elbow i'm not sure and also a knee brace uh, so there's some fascinating stuff with that i actually played in a game of the witcher rpg with mustang and with doug cockle the voice of Geralt of rivia which wasn't intimidating at all um so yeah good fun good times sorry to sort of <laughs> jump back and forth between conversations but um scales they are tiny i am trying to paint them Ooh, we have a super chat here from Bob Bob. Uh, Bob. And the little, is it a demarcation? Is that the word? Of the currency is one that I've not seen before. It's really interesting. But anyway, hey guys, loved your DIN video. Any chance of more love when you guys get competitive? Much love from India. Okay, there we go. Um, Um, Yeah, we had a great time with DIN. I don't know if we'll specifically play it again until there's some more stuff out for it. Yeah, but Um, I mean, I'd like to. Yeah, Um, me too. But yeah, games where we get competitive are good fun. I think... You and I felt like we were quite well matched in that. Exactly. So yeah. we were both. We both. It, it was kind of like a real shut up and play stream. Um, well, well, we've been brainstorming new ideas for the channel recently. Yeah. And one was like a more sort of versus series, where it's like, you know, one on one, who will win, kind of thing, rather than just being like, hey, we're just let's play a game. But, yeah. Uh, sort of focusing on the fact that you know we're competing and maybe having like a scoreboard or something like that. Yeah. It's quite fun. What what kind of game is it in? Uh, it is Din a was the trading card game, yeah, that we played. Mm-hmm. It's dead good. Um, Super easy to learn. Hello, I'm Duke VN has done uh, a super chat with that lovely, lovely sticker of the lemon waving and grinning and raising their sunglasses while a melon? 
question mark waves at their feet. Uh, the one who snacks has done... Uh... Lime. Oh, it's a lime. Sorry. Ah, lemon and lime. Classic. Oh. Yeah. The one who <laughs> snacks has done uh, Super Chat saying, I have heard... I've heard universally good things about it. Basically, dice breaker in a nutshell. Stay sexy, you foxy Cleopatras. Thank you, the Ooh. one who snacks. You flatter Damn. us. Damn. Oh, I shouldn't have said I was going to paint individual scales. I, I have so much respect for pro painters who do this. Oh, I know. It's ridiculous. And, and they do it so quick as well. I know. Oh, I think someone's at my door. Because I can hear the dog going spare. But hopefully someone else will get it. Fingers crossed. Let's up the beard on this fella. On this uh, here fella. Great big bushy beard. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'll shade it, I'll shade it, and I'll go back in. Now, I have a question for Charlie. Uh -huh. And to you too. This guy's got, uh, he's got like fabric across him, you know, like a, he's got like a little, little skirt. Oh yeah. Like a little bit that sort of drapes over his shoulder as well. And I'm thinking, what color should I do that? I was thinking maybe green? Give him like a sort of Scottishy Celtic vibe. I like it. Hmm. I don't know. Neon pink. That's my vote. Neon pink. <laughs> um, so I've got this this nice verdant dark green here. here that's how my scales are looking. Mm -hmm. And, you know... It's a, how many layers of detail have you got? That so is three. But uh, I'm about to shade and go back in with the third colour. Mm -hmm. um, ooh, uh, Rob Deerville has done another super chat to say what are your thoughts on the soul blight warband and reveal of the new warhammer quest and very interesting quest it looks almost mordheimy uh wheels i mean you really like the look of the soul blight warband right is that is that the thing for um are they the vamps i think so i thought that was the court or something oh something court let me have a look soul blight warband oh pardon me New Soul Blight Warbands. Soul Blight Warbands, that's quite fun to say. Wait, is Soul Blight the name of the new Underworlds box? Is that what yeah. If it's the Vamps, the Vamps look sick. I love the look of them. Because, yeah, Crimson Court. There we go, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you were very excited about those. Yeah, they look amazing because they remind me of, like, classic Manfred von Karstein style uh, Warhammer Vampires, which I think is a fun thing to go back to. Yeah. Um... And I really like the sculpts on them. I think they've got they've got a lot of character. Um, that you can tell them apart quite easily, I think. Yeah, which is really good. Um, it's very important. Uh, I'm excited about Warhammer Quest. I don't know if I'm going to buy into it because I've got so much other Warhammer stuff to be cracking on with, and I really need to stop buying models before I finish my to-do pile. But never say never. Hello, I'm Duke VN. Um, has done a super chat. To say whose bright idea was the You've Never Played series? Whoever thought of that should get a raise. It's basically a late to the party, but for Dicebreaker. Smiley face. That is the brainchild of one Alexandra Lowley's. Um, we had... I, I'm very happy. So we had a meeting recently to be like, come on, it's, it's a new year, sort of. How do we, you know, what, what do we want to do on the channel? What should we do with this and this and this and this and this? Um, and Lowley's was just smashing out good ideas left, right and centre. So... Um, basically, if you see a good idea on Dicebreaker over the next month or so, it was her idea. <laughs> Wheels and I were also there. But we are very good boys. Yeah, you turned up. So. You are very good boys, yeah. Um, thank you. Detective Goomba has done a super chat to say, crack out the tartan paint, Wheels. God, can you imagine how easy that would be? <laughs> oh, Ooh, yeah. Forgot I had this. Yeah. I've got sort of a <laughs> copper colour from Vallejo, mm. so it's a metallic, but it's kind of a very reddy copper. Yeah, let's get in on that. Come on, lads! <laughs> <laughs> Away the copper boys. Seraphim sepia. That's not what I want. I want Caraberg crimson. Caraberg crimson. I tidied my paints a while ago, which <laughs> means I can't reach any of them. I don't know where anything is. 
Um, you, can't, you can't read out a Warhammer poem about like a, a fantasy ha- voice. Hashtag give lollies a raise is trending in chat right I now. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to point that yeah. out. <laughs> I think if it, if it were up to Johnny, we'd be on, we'd be on six figures by now. I, yes, certainly. Yeah, if I was able to actually authorise raises for either of you, I'd do it. But um, that's... I, I'm. They don't let me control that bit. Just imagining they're like, right now, Johnny, we're giving you access to the raise button. But it's on a raise. You're just like, <laughs> no, no, Johnny, stop. No. I can type 123 <laughs> words a minute. Do you have any idea how many raises that is? <laughs> do, you have, do you have any idea how many economies I can crash in the next five minutes? <laughs> Ready? GameStop. Nothing on this guy. <laughs> Cameron, Cameron Gore is asking, is that Mr. Jarvis? Is in is it Matt who controls the roses? Uh, no, don't start thinking of him as some sort of villain. Um, Emma Benson is in the chat. Hello, Emma. He says, can you authorise a raise for me at my job, lol? Uh, give me their contact details. I'll get, I'll get on it. I mean... Yeah. Let me know where the raise button is and I'll... Sneak yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. The Make Look Good Water is doing its thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can see why people actually bother with this. This is nice. I mean, just just smashing yeah. it on that little bit there in the middle. Come on, camera. Oh, adding mm-hmm. adding um, mm-hmm. a watch to textured parts of a model is one of the most satisfying things in the oh, hobby. It's it is. Oh, like fur, like adding wash to fur as well. Oh yeah. Oh. Real. Um, smash, uh, smash, Brandis Gooch. Uh, has done a lovely super chat saying, Johnny, you were my inspiration to become a DM. I now run a game for three people and it's the most rewarding experience of my life. Thank you for all your lessons, especially those about patience. I mean, hats off to you, frankly, for making it happen and for giving it so much. You know, like, if it's that rewarding, you've clearly put a lot into it and that is to your credit. Yeah, you get out what you put in with RPG. So, yeah, thank you for the compliment, but no, we're complimenting you. So there. <laughs> Emma says, you can annoy my boss who doesn't like me. Happily. Anyone who doesn't like you, Emma Metten, deserves to be annoyed. Yep. That's what we say. Scott Gooch has done another super chat saying, what do you guys think of the new tattoos in Tasha's Cauldron? In my world, I have a tattoo parlor and a loot box shop where my players can get them. This is amazing. Um, yeah, the tattoos are really interesting in, um, in D&D, uh, in Tasha's Cauldron and everything. I don't really know anything about sort of, um, No. They can give sort of specific benefits. It's a funny one. Like, yeah, it's a it's an interesting one. I don't really go in for having my characters be tattoos, and I don't know why. Probably because I got lots of them. I'm not. I'm not really sure. But um, whoa, hang hang on a minute. They called her Babylon. Has done a super chat. Say clan tartans were mostly an invention of 19th century England. But fun fact, wheels Macmillan ancient hunting tartan is basically sunset palette. We found his clan. Well, well, there you go then. Incredible. It's like uh, once again, this is one of the stories that I've told a lot of times on this uh, this stream. But when I painted my Skaven black and yellow, and I was like, "Oh, I wonder what uh, what clan that is," and it was Clan Scurvy, the Skaven Pirates. So I was like, "Oh my god!" I, I forgot that, that is serendipitous. Um. Yeah, I went with um, I actually went, I went with verminous and pestilence, but you know, why are you going to the door? Um, right. Well, that bit's got to dry now. I should probably favorite plan. Probably block in some metal on the. No, bro- block in it's, that metal. Uh, it's clan scryer. Clan scryer is the best one. Because it's got icky claws, it's got doom wheels. Yeah. Which I mean, you can tell why I like those. Uh, Doom wheels, wheels. <laughs> Doom wheels. Doom wheels. Just me, all right. Yikes. Okay. Some nice green blocked in there. That's going to take a while to dry. This one's a real glazy green for some reason. But... Oh, oh yeah. nice. I like that. Nice, bold, rich colours, though. Yeah. It's got a Highlander feel to them. It does. The purple is it, is a, bit, a little bit of ginger to the brown as well. Yeah. I know the feeling, especially in this beard. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> um, 
The Purple Marauder just says Mulder. Don't know if that's specifically their favourite clan or just a reminder they exist. Mm-hmm. I like Mulder though. I'm the... Clan Mulder are the, the bio mutation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Hell Pit Abomination is such a good model. Yeah. I love it. Um, Have you seen that thing animated in that war? It's outrageous. Uh, yes, yes, I have. Uh, Wei Han Lim says ended up just taking some typing speed tests. Thanks, Johnny. You're very welcome. <laughs> um, we still seem to be having that problem with your comments, all of them coming up for moderation. I don't know what that's about. We're get, we're still trying to fix that, but very very odd. Quite a lot of um, love for Clan Mulder in uh, in the chat. So there we go. Oh, that's fair. But, um, have they got a special character, Clan Mulder? Uh, I don't. I don't, really don't know. think so. Not that I'm aware Beast of. Anyway. Master something but, or whatever. Um, hmm. I feel like these kobolds are meant to be a clan because they're sort of in service of the kobold queen. Uh, That's a kingdom. What's the name of your troll lad, Wheels? What's his name? Yeah. Find out, shall we? Oh. They're called her Babylon. Has uh, oh there we go. Uh, done a super chat. Say Tartan was regional, not clan based, from the fourth century to the eighteenth. Oh, yeah. oh, interesting. Okay, Scotland's good, isn't it? Yeah, I like Scotland Getting a lot. Some independence, they deserve it. They're doing better than if us. they want it. Obviously, I'm not. I'm not here to tell Scotland what to do. I feel like they've had enough of English people doing that. To be perfectly honest with you. So there. Uh, how do you find out their name? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Moraine. Oh. Where where is it written? Frost Giant Moraine. What a lovely it's, name. My one's, my one's on the twenty seventh page. Yeah. What a lovely is. name. That's a nice name. Uh, okay, all right. Your auto zoom did some heavy lifting there. I was into that. That was pretty good. Yeah. Right. Pretty good stuff. Oh god, it does a multi attack with it. Do you want to know how much damage this thing does? Yes, please. Uh, so it's got 214 hit points, <laughs> first of all. Yeah. Um, and then it has a melee weapon attack with its great axe. It has a plus nine to hit, a reach of 10 foot, one target, and it hits for 52. Brackets 7d12 plus 10 slashing damage. Wow. Oh my god. I mean, to be honest with you, you crack open a box and you get a miniature that big, you kind of have to assume it's going to hit hard. You're going to have to assume that it's going to melt you in one, <laughs> one second. Yeah. I wouldn't call this a level one encounter. Let's, let's say well, me neither. Right. Um, a couple of super chats have, have come in. Hot off the press. Andrew Gadsby says, This week seems to have been a week for everyone. You are so right, Andrew. So, Lolies, you know, adore you. I think it's, you know, I adore you. Uh, Wheels, it's luck, so you know how I feel. Johnny, you are my dream daddy forever. With three heart emojis. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. That's a reference to Dream Daddy, the video game, I think. Or maybe it isn't. Um, maybe both, because that game is fantastic. But also, yeah, it me. Um, Thank you, Lux. And Scarecrow Boat 87. I wonder what happened to Scarecrow Boats 1 through 86. <laughs> Said, uh, you guys are my inspiration to start painting minis. I've painted four Space Marines so far and I'm really enjoying it. Thank you and keep being awesome. Uh, w- welcome to the hobby. Uh, if no one said mm. that to you yet, uh, it's nice to have you here. Um, good luck with your Space Marines. I hate uh, edge highlighting their armor. I can't do it. Just can't do it. I can just about do their shoulder pads. I hate space. No, I know. The pause was really um, ominous there, wasn't it? Lol. I just realised that um, it's like this is like the red dragon. Like the box is the layer of the red dragon. And it came red, but I obviously like sprayed it It's a disguise. It white. It's fine. And then I, but then hey. I was like, then I thought to myself, well, it was it came red, so I don't really want to paint it red again. Yeah. That's why I made it not red. But anyway, that's, and you know what? That's here's, valid. Here's it's yours. It's your mini. It's yours to do with what you will. Here's the thing, ladies. If somebody turns up to the lair of the red dragon and they see a blue dragon, yeah. two things are going to be running through the head. One, what happened to the dragon? Mm-hmm. Or two, if this isn't the red dragon, where the hell's he? And bam! That's when you hit him with the blue dragon. Two? Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, 
it's like Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Right. This this guy like spits water or ice or something. He's a Squirtle main. Yeah. Wh- which version did you both go with? Please don't tell me you were I too think young. I had red. blue because it was my brother's. Okay. I went red because my brother gave it to me. Oh. Yeah, I would have picked red. But I was blue, blue day was one. Blue. Day one release. My brother went red. I prefer fire Pokemon though, so I think I made Why did you embarrass him? <laughs> yeah, for my entire <laughs> life. <laughs> yeah. I that's mean, it's not too thing. late. I could make it be like a red stripe down the middle. Hey, stick to your guns. Hashtag blue dragon. Hashtag if I lose a rose. <laughs> Hashtag we'll see while you're at it. Yeah, see. Never turn down a raise, that's what I say. That's why you're Never so, look a gift raise. That's why you're so bad at poker. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's I mean, Wheels is grimacing as if he's got a really bad hand. He has, but watch this. Wheels, I raise you two hundred. Ah I raise you two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Going with a little grey belly on the old oh wow, you can't really tell the difference there. On the old <laughs> the old snack. Little up yours, webcam. <laughs> You'll see it on Instagram later. Hashtag don't leave Johnny out of the raise spree from Angel B. Angel B. Yeah, I mean, I'll take that. Yes, please. If you're listening, Mr. Moneybags, uh, who is the owner of all companies. Well, Rich Uncle watching. Moneybags from Monopoly. Yeah. Richard Moneybags, if you could please... Give everyone a raise. Also, your games are bad, and you should feel yeah. bad. So stop paying yourself so much. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that bit of the world put to rights. Yeah. Next. Sorted. Hello, sneaky bit of tail. Thought you were going to get away without being painted. You were wrong. You were wrong. Ah. on the bum here. You're right there. Me? Yeah. yeah, I'm just I'm trying to figure out what other colour to use. Not red, I forbid it. Excuse me. Yeah, that goes completely You will against... not tell me what to do with my mini mister. Fine. Oh no, what if Where was this when you were in a guilt psychology? spiral about making it blue? Where was this, this <laughs> vim and vigour? <laughs> Honestly. Ooh, hello, I'm Duke VN has done a great super chat. Uh, and I want the chat to get in on this. What are some underrated games that deserve love? Uh, why people aren't screaming from the rafters about Cosmic Frog, I don't know, because it's brilliant. Um... Thomas Jackson says Cthulhu Pandemic. Nick Green says Maroon. Um, I'm also surprised Lifeboat isn't better known. That is a really good daft social game about... Oh, I, still, I still haven't tried that. It's very, very good. Um, I Quinto. love the idea of somebody loves, somebody you hate. Yeah, it's... it's, I, it's brilliant. Yep. Um, what else? I mean, a- again, the fact that Crocodile isn't... There isn't a Crocodile board in every single pub in the world. Why isn't there a Queen's Gambit equivalent series for Crocodile? That's what I want. Yeah. Let's write one. We'll work up a treatment after this. You can base that character, uh, base the main antagonist off that guy at the tournament you really didn't like because he was (laughs) smarmy. He was pretty In fairness, he was. So gutted that footage didn't come out. Um, Would have been such a good video. Although, what we should have done when we realised the footage didn't work, we should have been like, oh my god, Wheels won a Crocodile yeah. tournament. <laughs> uh, Jack Wood says Decrypto and Sagrata. Uh, Mario Kart Monopoly. Mattress 757, you ashamed of yourself. Uh, Martin Cox says, I really enjoy Superflight. It's better than the card game that should not be named. Frodo Baggins says, Sky Trader seems to go by a lot of people, which is a shame because it's brilliant. Uh, Linon owns Lifeboat, but hasn't had a chance to play it yet. Oh, you will. Uh, Mina L says, Flux, which is bold. Um, 
Uh, Trish Sharp says... Uh, to call Flux underrated is quite a thing. <laughs> Even just rated. Trish Sharp says, <laughs> personally, very into Thousand Year Old Vampire. Thirteenth Age is a nice D&D alternate, I'd say, from Argia Ryan. I'm sorry, I probably mispronounced your name there. Epic Spell Wars of the Battle Wizards. Duel at Mount Skull's Fire, says JT Gaze. That is a fun game. That is a fun uh, game. Kieran Foster says, Gaslands. Uh, yeah, I agree. Gaslands. That's, that should be massive, really. But, um, <laughs> what? Johnny, I'm still upset there are still knockoff hot wheels waiting in the office for i know i know it's absolutely devastating um what are some games from your collections that you think are underrated oh, this is quite a tough uh, question Ashkelon is i always say like one of my favorite two-player games it's brilliant <laughs> mm. well, I think it Tashkalar. Tashkalar. It's by Vlad oh, yeah. yeah but because it's so um i think it's because it's it's got sort of like abstract look to it i think people are like oh Ooh, yeah, but actually, it's really, really good. It's really, really good fun, especially if you love making patterns. Um, oh God, I'm really struggling. I haven't seen my game. Have, played... have either of you played Sequail? No, what is it? I don't own it, but it's um, it's also a two-player game where you like bet on which color piece is gonna go into the ring, but you then both control the pieces, but then you're also like it's like this whole thing where your brain just melts because you're like trying to put your piece into the ring but also not try and make it too obvious because the other player can call you out if they think they know which piece you're trying to move in there and if you both pick the same color then like it's a whole other thing and it's really really good Mm. um but yeah it's called in german it's called the isses well, I, I prefer the... I think it's Portuguese. It's, it's called Sequoia. And, um... Nice. Sorry, it's read, it's read the most recent It's pretty chat. devastating, isn't it? Lowly's, the one who Lowly's hit it. us. Go on. Me? Yeah, you oh, say it. Knock off Hot Wheels? Oh, you mean Johnny? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Although I feel like that implies that you are both a knockoff of me and hotter. So I think that levels yeah, it out. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um... What else are people saying? I saw somebody say Galaxy Truckers. I think it might have been Jack Wood, Galaxy which Truckers. is wonderful. Uh, I own that, I it's, think. No, it's I brilliant. Do. I love it. I absolutely I do. love it. I've never played it. I've never so played good. it. I have it. It's a wonderful game. Uh, me and says Splendor. Um, oh, no, it's, it's complimenting Fredo Baggins and saying Splendor. Highly. I think that's pretty highly rated, oh. as is Colt Express, yeah. which was me in the suggestion. I think Colt Express is pretty well Everyone known. Everyone knows. Yeah. Um, oh, this is difficult. Oh, well... Thanks, country with me. You've been you've been shot down. Hurry, <laughs> um, Doomtown reloaded. Um, oh, you didn't see that one coming. I'm trying to think. Even though you, even though you're burning your copy of it. I'm not. Stop it. It wasn't funny <laughs> when we recorded the podcast, and it's not funny now. Um, I was about to say I don't get pretty, that. Pretty funny. I think Raccoon Tycoon is quite underrated. My friends didn't really like it, and it made me sad. Oh. Um. There's loads. Have you ever played Quadropolis? <laughs> no. I've I've had a demo of Quadropolis, but I haven't had a proper... Like, uh, it's another one I own, and I used to play it all the time years ago. That's why I bought it last year. And I actually haven't opened my own copy of it yet, because um, I'm, like, really apprehensive about having to read the rules, even though I used to know them. Even though, like, it'll take me, like, two minutes, because it's more, like, reminding myself of the rules yeah. than anything. I think Davo, who used to work at Asmodee and was on one of our streams, told me how to play Quadropolis, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it's pretty a, good. Oh, me and Ray, I'll go back to my Google document then. Don't, me and stick around. <laughs> um, underrated games. Um, oh, the Purple Marauder has done a super chat say maybe purple and white, Lolis. For what, sorry? Oh, maybe blue and white. It's, no, just the purple and white. Maybe, no, maybe blue. I think it's actually the current skin. Maybe blue. Place, it's, so. It was actually blue and white. I misread the super chat. Maybe per- maybe blue purple and... and white is what I am. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the that's the. Skin yeah, but that but the purple marauder, which is you can see how I got confused, has suggested a blue and white lolies. Mm. Oh, it's too late. Hopefully not. You're about ten. Mi- you're about ten minutes too late. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, thank you for helping me. Right, here's what I'm going to do. Little I'm going to give this an all over, all over Agrax. Oh, do. Doctor. <laughs> what? Doctor. I can get excited about washes if I want. Doctor. 
Give me the news. Ooh, doctor. I've never heard that before. Johnny said that about a million times to me, I think. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm massively current, but I am saying there's precedent for that particular phrase. Never heard it. Okay. Well, well it must not exist then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really bad with stuff like that. I never know them. It's because I'm foreign. There you are. I mean, German is your first language. Well, Harry says, uh, so why is there a minor wheels? Why has he been reducing size? The main reason is so that you guys can see like a close-up cam of the model I'm painting. Um, but also, I like to think that it gives a sense of scale to the ice giant. <laughs> yeah. Also, it means that he can jerk his head around and make the auto camera do dramatic things. Yeah. Also, I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> like the dramatic chipmunk. Yep. What does that mean? I do. Yeah. Back when memes had to last for six months. Smash, <laughs> Brown Scooch has done another super chat saying, thoughts on mutants and masterminds. Also, heart emoji, heart emoji, heart emoji, heart emoji. Um, I'm going to have to remind myself what mutants and masterminds is. I've got no clue. Mutants. No idea. And masterminds. <laughs> oh, it's a superhero role-playing game. Written by Steve Kenson and published by Green Roaning Publishing, based on a variant of the D20 system by Wizards of the Coast. Introduced in oh, 2002. No, I know exactly. I've never even, no, no. never even gone near it, my friend. I'm sorry that I can't give you a more detailed answer, but oh, wow, wow, wow. I don't really like superheroes, so probably not for me. <gasps> you don't like superheroes? Nah, not really. Hmm. Whoa. What happened to you? Uh, I grew up. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> You're lost. Listen, you come for me, I'll bite back. Right. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just not really. I, I like Spider-Man as a kid and Batman and stuff, but I never really brought that into my adult life. I mean, uh, Into the Spider-Verse is uh, one yeah. of the greatest films oh, so of all good. time. Of watched, all time. Let's go with all time. It. I watched it twice in the space of 24 hours a couple of months ago. I can't blame you. Sammy Couch says, whoa, that hurts. Yeah, Wheels did not speak for all of us then. I uh... I said the word I at the start. Of yeah, sentence. yeah, but that's... Come on. I, I grew up. That's still not kind. Oh, which, I meant which means that I everyone else didn't. didn't. Yeah. yeah. I mean... By inference. I mean, the thing is, I... Um, definitely just a big child so I think that's okay I, I, I keep wanting to get into comics really but then I find that um, I actually find it to be quite an inaccessible industry like the barrier to entry is quite high there's a lot of background knowledge you need to have about what editions and all that kind of stuff uh, and also I'm bad at picking stuff up every week uh, I'm just not very good at it so I sort of steered clear but I'll occasionally pick up like a compendium or a graphic novel you know but um yeah. I read a lot of graphic novels, just not any superhero stuff, really. Yeah. Like, I think it's a really lovely medium. But I grow up! Mm. I can't believe you said that, Wales. And in that, <laughs> that voice. Listen, Lodi's asked me what happened to you in response to me saying I don't like superheroes. <laughs> yeah, I was nearly I did, returning I just said to that. Question. Okay, two wrongs don't make a right. <laughs> oh, scales I mean this is really rewarding but also I'm really making work for myself and I don't even think it's coming out on my webcam no oh there we go mm. oh yeah <laughs> uh, I'll get the orange on there and that'll be nice yeah I think it's going to be hard for us to tell for a long Heck while. my life. But you know, like, you know when you watch the old Duncan bids on Warhammer 2? Do I? And he's like, right, now I'm going to spend the next 20 minutes doing this paintwork. And I'm like, um, <laughs> what's changed? Because he'll, like, shore up a colour and yeah. just add, like, a tiny line. Like, I don't really know what's going on. So you're not going to you're not gonna apply for the position of painting host at, at Games Workshop? Oh. They're hiring oh. at the minute. Um, Daniel Bidness has done a super chat saying one year sober day before yesterday. Hey, congrats, congratulations. Daniel Bidness. That's incredible. That's huge. Well done. Not an easy feat at all. No. You made and it. And we have another business. super chat that's hot off the press. 
from Matthew Pollard who says, I turned 40 last week and I can safely say that growing up is overrated. Also, here's something for Wheels to buy some chips to go with that salt. hi oh, I'm not salty about it. I just don't really like it. I'm not salty, well, is, he is, said. It is quite omnipresent at the moment. Maybe not quite right now. It was for a long time. Couldn't really escape it. Yeah. But we had like a sort of town hall meeting before the pandemic, uh, which is basically like the whole company wide meeting sort of thing. Uh, and somebody asked me if I'd like to be on a panel where we talk about pop culture, including like superheroes and, and all that kind of stuff. I was like, I'm, I'm flat that you asked, but I'm the wrong person. To Funnily enough, they didn't, <laughs> they didn't ask me. <laughs> Do, Johnny, do you, want, do you want to be on the uh, on the panel of people who look like they've just walked out of Mythargo Wood? Yes. Let me put down my steaming hot pint of nut brown ale. That was mostly for me, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I, yeah. I'll just let you crack on with that one. Oh, wow, <laughs> anyway, we've reached we have that stage. Super chat. He's just like that. Uh, from Smash Brandiscoot, who says... This is in quotes. But I grew up. Wheel says he apply. Uh, uh, but I grew up. Wheel says as he applies more paint to his giant miniature during a stream of the tabletop gaming channel he co-hosts. Said with love. It's got you there. Sorry, friend, but I'm getting paid. For this, so. Wheel, wow. You know, when, you, when you just looked up and you did like that face, the camera zoomed right in on you, and it was oh, really I'll funny. Do it. I like it all. <laughs> I'm getting paid for this. He says, "Yeah, don't nudge." <laughs> well, that's why we're all asked for a race. Yeah. Okay. Scale, scale, scales. Scale, scale, scales. Scale, 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 scale. I really like this, though. Is it quite therapeutic? Well, it's the thing is, it's quite stressful when you're actually doing it, but then you, you reel back and you're like, oh, it's nice, though. <laughs> I did think it. Um, what was I talking about? I don't know. No clue. Oh, uh, I always forget that. <laughs> I always forget that Agrax looks a lot more extreme before it's dried. Yeah. But once it's once it's dried out, it's actually not that, not that great. Shades do that though sometimes, though. Yeah. They they do that though, don't they? Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet, mate. Yeah, yeah. I accidentally. Oh, what you got there is a classic case of wet shades. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I could fix that for you, mate. It's going to cost you a couple of hundred quid, but. I'm going to have to get up and put a uh, lamp on in a sec, because... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's that no, time of day. Sun's going down. Dark. Sun's going down. <laughs> it was the last thing I do. I hate that massive sky orb. <laughs> so that took me a second. Yeah, but I'll really say. It. I'm glad, I'm glad. Because <laughs> I, I was just sort of <laughs> leaning into another long silence after something I've said, mostly for my own benefit. <laughs> Yeah, it's lamp time. Lamp time. Point this guy. Oh, this fella's got some beefy legs. Beefy, beefy legs. Tell you, else, tell you who else has got beefy legs. I care. <laughs> oh, that one was for me. You like that? Okay. <laughs> Not a clue, mate. Not a clue. No, no clue whatsoever. <laughs> Sometimes it's best to just let him laugh at his own jokes. <laughs> oh, he's back. Shush. <laughs> what? What? No, Nothing dead. <laughs> Didn't do anything. Better not have. Quick, give yourselves a raise while he's away. <laughs> there we go. That's the one. The problem with like icy characters is that 
<laughs> things get a little bit dirty when you start spraying wash around. There's just like drops of brown everywhere. Mm. Okay. Having a bit of difficulty knowing when to stop with this color and move on to another one, which probably means it's about time to switch. Yeah. Sometimes you can go overboard, yeah. and you lose all the underneath. Although that is coming out very nicely. All right, I'm going to do this little tail because I know I've not been over it before. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. I think I'm going to use half of my painting supplies on this one model. Yep. He's a large yeah, boy. I mean, let nobody say you, you two won't commit, because that's, that's <laughs> a big old project. Chat's trying to wind cool. me up, saying you did something horrible when the, the second I turn my back. So they've got it in for you. Did we? I don't know. It wasn't here. I don't think so. Okay. That doesn't sound like us. I think they're lying. Wow. <laughs> we think of it. Okay. Well, wow, that lid's on tight. There we go. When you, uh. God. I'm, so I'm oh, listening wow. to like a sort of the classic chill beats playlist. Ooh. Sort of yes, carry on, sorry. It always freaks me out when they put like a song with vocals in it, and I'm like, oh, God, where's that? Oh, from? yeah, I know what you mean. Someone's singing. Yeah, it's almost insulting. It's like, what is this? Yeah. This is not a lo fi beat. This voice. is just a song. I cannot vibe and study to this. This is a lovely copper. Well done, Vallejo. Looking forward to seeing it. I mean, every time I've held up the mini so far, you've just gone, no! <laughs> well, well, I have once because I couldn't see the Sorry, I meant like, I things. meant vu. Like you, plural. If anyone was wondering what the French word vu means. <laughs> <laughs> Tee hee hee. Uh, Anthony O'Connell asks, when you have a beautiful miniature, are you hesitant to paint it? I have absolutely had that fear of worrying that yeah. I'm not going to be able to do a good enough job. One you got to though. Yeah. And at some point you just got to admit that like, okay, it may not be competition standards, but you know, I, I try and let myself take pleasure in painting things and just not worry too much. Um, I, I think more than not, than not, you'll get that feeling after doing like a certain amount and you'll be like, oh, this looks bad, this looks bad, I've ruined it. And then yeah. by the end, you're like, oh, oh no, this is good. Yeah, <laughs> it's pushing through the middle that I, I tend to struggle with, certainly. But my God, isn't that a lot? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. What am I listening to? It's good. Oh, it's Wolf Alice. There we go. That's why. We've got a very big, very generous super chat. Thank you, Smash. Smash Brand is Gooch, who says, One last super chat because I felt bad for calling Wills out. <laughs> so treat yourself to a point on me. Big love Aww. to all you wonderful people. Also, have you reasoned out what my name is in reference to? Yes, uh, Smash Bandicoot, right? Well, Crash, Crash um, Bandicoot. And... It trumps to crack Ian Higton up each time. Uh. Smash Bandicoot. I mean, obviously, I'm getting Crash Bandicoot vibes, but I'm not sure what the second layer of that is. Is it Smash Mouth the Band? Smash Band? Oh, my God. I don't know. I Maybe. Do so. <laughs> have a little lollies? I mean, there's so we much of that. Yeah. It's coming together. Oh, yeah. 
I, I really oh, like. Oh, I like. The... Yeah, I like the grey body and the blue. Yeah, that looks cool. really nice. Thanks. Big fan. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I don't know why I said this. There's some. Uh... Can you see, can you see it now? Turn into Fozzy Bear. Yeah. Oh, oh that looks yeah, really yeah. good. Okay. Yeah, I love that. We oh, have brothers. here it is, my <laughs> Christmas speech. Thank you That's all for tight. coming. Merry Christmas. <laughs> From the one who snacks, who says, "What is British propaganda? Propaganda? It's when they take a good look at something. What is British aloe vera? Oh, pro it's propaganda." Yeah. Oh, propaganda. Yeah. What is British? Oh, I, I don't know why I read that with an extra or. Um, what is oh, there British? Is an extra in there. What is British aloe vera? It's when aloe they vera. Greet, yeah, it's when they greet their neighbor Vera. Lovely. Um. So, fan of the channel and lovely good man Will, uh, sent over Ooh. some. Ooh. Sent over some. Are they called dingbats? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, Ball game dingbats to us on on <laughs> ball game dingbats has also put me into the, that voice. Um, like subscribe ball game dingbats. <laughs> Welcome to ball game dingbats. Uh, <laughs> Welcome back to our was... 15, 15 part series. How the bloody hell do you play settlers of Catan? <laughs> <laughs> settlers of Catan. <laughs> uh, for I'm gonna, I'm gonna Jack Wood, I am painting with uh, uh, this one. You can't see that. It's liquid metal copper. Is it liquid metal copper? It just says copper or cobre. But yes, I think so. Uh, Sorry, carry on, Wes. I'm going to do a sub story in the middle of my story here to say that mm -hmm. I was on um, a Discord call recently where someone said, Do me a favor. And every single time you said it, it got more cockney and more like forceful. Do me so a favor. Side, side off as, Oh, do me a favor. But then it was, Oh, do me a favor. And by the end, it was, Do me a favor. <laughs> wow, that I mean that almost went like American Italian mobster. <laughs> Do me a favor. That's Christopher Walken, isn't that is? Yeah, that's Christopher Walken. Do me a favor. <laughs> pick it back. We're doing a lot of impressions on this. Yeah. Impression heavy. Speak for ourselves. Yeah, where's yours at least? I don't do impressions, man. I can barely do my <laughs> own voice. Person. Yeah. <laughs> Barely keep this together. <laughs> God, that's a big mood. <laughs> I'm walking here. <laughs> there we go. I actually um no, I just read somebody oh. else's. But um I was I remember when I went to it was in Norwich, in like the city centre in Norwich, there's a hairdresser that I really like because um I've never been to the hairdresser, but um uh they have a sign in the door. I don't know very good, but <laughs> they have a sign in the door and it's just a picture of Christopher Walken and it says Walken's accepted. Yes, I love it. And I love that. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> I really want to make an NPC in a in an RPG at some point. Who's called Christopher Rudden? That's the Christopher Walken voice. And that just says, talks fast. You might know my cousin. Oh no. <laughs> well, you have that to look forward to. Oh uh, no, it's, that's a private private fun time joke. I reckon. Cool. I've already spoiled it now. Yep. Yeah, but well, the people are going to want to see it now, aren't they? Well, give the well, people what they want. Oh. Got to give the people what they want. Oh, wrestling reference there for my wrestling fans. Right, I've done a big old washing spree here. So, currently drying still, so it's still going to look a little bit wet. Ooh. But covered in agrax, and you can see what was white oh, has hey. become a lovely fur color. What once oh, was white. That, that like sheepskin looks amazing. Mm -hmm. That's how you do sheepskin, my friend. They seem better off the off the webcam, which is blaring oh, yeah. out. But yeah. my chat for some reason is way way behind everyone else's. Uh, Smash Brandis Gucci's um, super chat has only just come in on my screen. Oh, we have um, whoa, whoa. a couple more super chats. Actually. I can't read them out yet. So if, I will yeah. do it. This 
the, the Smash Brandis Gooch has done a new super chat that says The Last of Us 2 Easter egg lol. Also, that uh, Trump's was supposed to be tens. Dang, autocorrect. Tens to crack Ian Hickton. Uh, oh. Okay, now I'm done. Thank you, Smash. Thank You've you, done Smash, a, a yeah. lot on this chat, so thank you very much. And Gillen, Gillen Borum. Or Gillen, says a couple of summers ago I was at the beach and some sunburned bloke knocked over my sandcastle. I was about to read him the riot act, but my friend stopped me before I went off on a tangent. Da- tan tangent. Went off on a tangent. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Noor Rabbani. Thank you. <laughs> I said my hair look awesome. Way. God, I'm really warm. <laughs> it's really warm in here. I'm cooling down again because the sun, sun sun's going down. That's how that works. Oh, you're in a yeah, 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 yeah. But what I can do with this little close up can is I can some sleepy cat. Aww. Sleepy cat. Which, I mean, I need to turn auto focus again. Yeah. Sleepy. Aww. Where's my baby? I bought her a new bed and she's just in there all the time, which is I great. Mean, yeah, like, like you buy things for cats, it's it's always a gamble. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's it's I technically she. So she started sleeping under my bedside table, um, I think recently because she was quite stressed, and so um, and it was just like cables and and stuff down there. So I was like, okay. So I bought her a little bed that fits under there. Mm-hmm. So I'm technically just made the place she's already sleeping nicer. That's nice though. <laughs> but um. Yeah. And I think because I'd put my pajama pants there for a while, but then I was like, I kind of want my pajama pants back. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn it, honey, give them back. <laughs> <laughs> Endless scales. This is what you get the close-up cam for, so you can see me put on every brushstroke. Ah. Oh, very exciting, isn't that's it? Nice. Yeah. I have to be very careful with this one now because I've already got colours underneath it. Hope you're all enjoying the new setup. We have another super chat from B- PDS Roxas who says, This stream is so relaxing and fun. Also, not seen Johnny's new look and it looks very dashing. Yeah. Mm. Hey. The way that that was introed, I was expecting, This stream is so relaxing and fun that, you know. It's like Jackbox. Yeah, exactly. And we have another super chat Whoa. from Scarecrow Bo. Oh, and another one. Scarecrow Bo87, who says, nope. Johnny can't believe you're sitting outside right now. Envious. It's minus 24 in my part of the world today. I am technically inside because I'm in a conservatory. Um, yeah. So I was in here when it was snowing outside. Um, there's a little heater on the wall. Um, but yes, it is quite nice to be, be out here. I get a lot of natural light. So that's good. And another super chat from none of your business. Limey. Who says, <laughs> when school, I have to, you know, change it up after 100 yeah. super chats. Um, who says, when scuba diving the other day, saw a gorgeous sea creature, could have forced it to come with me, but I didn't want to make <laughs> anemone. Got anemones, got a lemon. I, I, had to, I had to pause to remember how to pronounce that. <laughs> And the only reason I know how to pronounce it is because of Animal Crossing. Because <laughs> there's that thing where it was like, you don't want to make an enemy, an enemy out of an your enemy. You don't want to make an enemy out of the M&M's Corporation because they've got a lot of legal backing. I'm going to eat some chocolate because you've just talked about M&M's. Oh, you need to stop doing this to me, ladies. <laughs> you've I've... always got chocolate and I never have chocolate. It's the I've... worst. Two snack drawers, and actually, I refilled one of them yesterday with crisps, chocolate chip cookies, and something else that I can't find. Unbelievable! Oh, straws! Unbelievable! Oh, straws! Straws is... are veggie. Oh, nice! This is the worst slash best thing about us not being in the office is that you're in the office. There's always someone to snack on, hands down. There's biscuit corner. People have birthdays and bring in cakes. There's People who bake, bring stuff in. Oh. I mean, the, the office is above a, a corner shop or an off-license, rather. Yeah. So we could go get crisps whenever we wanted. I've stopped buying crisps into the house because I cannot trust myself. I will monster a 150 gram bag of crisps without even blinking. No problem. Oh, mate. Easy peasy, honestly. Such a snacker, me. Such a snacker. Oh, that's snacky, me. Oh. My snacks always last ages. Love a snack. Not a big snacker. Look at you. Ugh. 
People like I'm suspicious. Of <laughs> she said snack. I'm not a big snack. You've got two <laughs> snack drawers. Yeah. My snacks like last ages because there are loads. You don't, get, you don't get two snack drawers if you're a snacker. You get to about one third of the way through. No, it's only because I have a big variation of snacks, so I need like they're only small drawers. I have like just so many different types of snacks. Uh, they take up. Why are you picking drawers. on us? <laughs> like. What is this? <laughs> oh, we oh, um, we have a super chat from the Purple Marauder, who says, "How much to get Lolis to sing in German?" Uh, ninety-nine red balloons. That's not a currency. Yeah, that was. Yeah. <laughs> Five hundred dollars. Wow. Blimey. I thought that was a good joke, but that's fine. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Cookie Cat ninety four is in a super chat that says my dragon is asleep. He's now drag off. <laughs> and another super chat. Why did chat. that one make me laugh? That was terrible. <laughs> super chat from Troost, <laughs> who says thanks for making the workday that little bit more bearable. I'm definitely working real hard. Good. Oh yeah. Maybe. Oh hey, that's better. Ninety nine red doubloons oh, is what chat is saying. Oh, that's very good. Oh, you missed a trick there, mate. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Although Johnny still wouldn't mind her. <laughs> I don't really sing. There you go. Unless it's spontaneous. I don't really do requests unless I get five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Give me five hundred dollars and we can talk. <laughs> Gosh. Do I accept Zimbabwe dollars? I think the joke is that. No, no, uh, yeah. Mm. The exchange yeah. rate is, is not as favourable. Very favourable for Zimbabwe, yeah. <sighs> and these belts. I'm uh, moving on to scales. I'm washing. Oh, that nice. has no discernible impacts. Let's try that again. <laughs> I'm washing. Oh, I was talking about the paint I was putting on the miniature. I wasn't. Oh. <laughs> I was like, okay, Dad, take two. I'll do it. No, no, that's not what I was going for. <laughs> oh, that's nice, though. That's a... Oh, if I do that as a glaze. Yeah, everyone shut up. Okay. No, don't, don't literally. No, no you, you crack on. Right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Blendy glaze. Yeah. Oh, he's having a great time. Oh, I, lo- I forgot how much playing. I like glazes. I remember the first time you did glazes and you were like, oh my yep. god, this is brilliant. And then I lost those miniatures. Left them on a, oh, yeah. on a train. Oh, yeah, train. Good. Oh, down it, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Have we met? <laughs> that was bad times, wasn't it? Not in a long time. Oh. Mm. Yeah, two can play that game. Two can play that game, yeah. Me. Uh, oh my goodness, more super chats. Uh, yeah, so okay. I don't know what's going on with my chat. I'm gonna refresh this and hope it doesn't so break. So we everything. have three here. One from the unperceptive paladin who says. GMing a Blaze in the Dark campaign next yes, week. Yes, please. How do you recommend handling the origin of the player's crew? Start with it established or create a starting scenario to bring the characters together? I mean, the whole point of Blaze in the Dark is that everything's already happened and you just tell it through flashbacks, right? So you can just sort of make it up as you go along. Yeah. Um, you can just be like, oh, well, you remember when we did this, when we were first starting out. You know? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Little. Who wants a little snack <laughs> update? Snack. Schneck. Oh, oh, it just isn't showing up on camera. <laughs> yeah, it looks bad. In the meantime, there's another super chat because there's, there's been another one since I started these wow. three. Scott Perkins says, didn't put minis together in the end, got too dark by the time I sat down. Uh-huh. Yay being clinically blind. I'm playing oh. Nomads, as Wheels asked earlier. Ah, Nomads are the, the hacker pirate you people. Right? Oh. Cool. They're all red. Red's a good colour. Smash Brandy Scooch, uh, who lied about doing their last super yeah show. what is this uh says okay i lied a priest a rabbit and a shaman walk into a bar the rabbit says to the barman 
I think I'm a typo. <laughs> Into it. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then last but not least, Angel Beat says, why did the orchestra sound fake? Because they were a symphony. Yes, I suppose that's true. <laughs> I've spent so long painting scales. I, I don't know how to do anything else. I guess I'll start painting the kobold. <laughs> I go to bed and I see scales. It's what shade are you? Is that a That's cat right. that I can hear? Hmm? Is that a cat I hear? What, going... <laughs> no. That is... Um... It's either that or drilling. Yeah, it's uh, sanding with a little sanding. mini Dremel. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's been... A little Dremel? A little Dremel. It's not me doing it. It's a Dremel. A Dremel, you know, like a little mo motorised um, sanding thing. They're like rotary sanders. Chicken. Don't think I explained that very well, but... There we go. I prefer the idea that it's a rotisserie chicken. Uh, okay. To play that game. Uh, we have another super chat from <laughs> Eleanor Smith, who says, "How does a character acquire a poisoner's kit on and uh, and proficiency in it? As my characters hold deal poisons, it would be good if she had these." I mean. Ask your DM if you can just have it. Yeah. I, th I think if, if it's the entire thing of your Raise character and you deck. can't find a way to access it, then, you know. Yeah. Maybe just ask if you can have it. But you can probably just also purchase it from an NPC. It's, it's a role-playing game, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think there's any sort of, like, accepted golden path to it. Um, as far as I'm aware, anyway. But then... Oh, just straight up dropped me miniature in my palette, didn't I? Oh, wow. It's fine, though. Well, that, that's one way of getting all the shades. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> just roll it around in them. Well, I'm just slapping purple now onto this kobold to try and block in more of the mini. This wash is doing like nothing. <laughs> Love that. Keeps going. <laughs> mm. More wash. At the more wash sale. <laughs> At the car wash. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, wasn't in German, but it was spontaneous singing. Yeah, I was about to say I wasn't. Have some of that. So. At the, at the auto... automobile. I actually don't know what a car wash is in German. Glens. Uh, <laughs> auto Glens. I can't remember the name of the band auto now, Glens. but there is a there is a, a a German band that has a song called uh, Universal Televasche in Studio. It's bloody great. <laughs> Which I think is washing machine. Televasche. Wash wash machine. Oh. I think. Well. Ugh. That's anticlimactic, isn't it? <laughs> Sometimes you learn a word and you're like, oh, well, yeah, I guess. What's. Like the Welsh word yeah, for ambulance, much, yeah. which is ambulance. <laughs> ambulance. <laughs> oh, that one's fun. Yeah. Though. I like it when it's very subtle and you can hear the accent. Do you, do you like the, the French word for weekend? It's just weekend. Yeah. Legit. Yeah. Cool. More weekend! Did I tell you about um, in Sweden? Uh, no. How? No. Okay. Well, here we go then. <laughs> uh, Job done. <laughs> so in Sweden, um, everyone learns English and Swedish. From Berlin, so like, everyone speaks two languages. Because um, my brother lives in Stockholm, so he was telling me about this. Uh, the sometimes when like a new word just kind of gets invented um, in English, they don't bother having a translation for it because it's like, well, we all speak English anyway, so we just use the English word. Yeah. So sometimes, especially really modern words, you'll hear them just get slipped into, into Swedish. 
So like, he, yeah, be in German sat, as well, yeah. Yeah, he was saying that you'll be sat on the train, and you'll just hear two people talking away, and somebody will be like Swedish, 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 resting bitch face, Swedish, 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 Amazing. Swedish. Yeah. <laughs> you just get a little little preview. Of what the hell are they talking about? I mean, it's the same in in Japanese. You know, like in my time, I've interviewed a lot of Japanese developers, and you know, like you'll have a string of Japanese words and then just the word action game, um, for yeah. example. Yeah. Because yeah. language is fluid and interesting. Uh-huh. I'll say. Uh, hello, I'm Duke VN says, accents are hard with a tongue out emoji. I agree. Indeed. They are. Sorry for that to be such a, um, what's the word? Short and sweet. Yeah. Why? But yeah. You yes. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, exactly. All right. You're not wrong. Yeah. Which means you're right. <laughs> <Here we go. laughs> I don't know what's going on with my um, my YouTube because I've been refreshing it and I've only just got that super chat in about British propaganda wow you're miles I know know, right are you having to manually refresh every time then I've given up it's not very fun is it I'm gonna give you up no no yeah the the, the dam's broken now (laughs) (laughs) so I'm doing a Drakenhof Nightshade wash on. Um... <laughs> Sorry, was that, was that Drakenhof or was it Drinkenhof? Because that's two very different vibes. <laughs> I said Drakenhof. I think that's a bit. It sounded like drink and half. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Which is more of a, a philosophy, really. Well, anyway, <laughs> I'm doing. <laughs> I'm that. doing that wash on the grey underbody nice and i quite like how it's coming out Good. i have to say i do like dragon half i think it's very nice dragon half dragon half meteor a meteor <laughs> meteor <laughs> what? oh that oh my god i love that video good. is that what you're doing yes she is hilarious <laughs> I mean, I've just slapped down like a very basic <laughs> face coat on the uh, the actual Kobold Rider, and uh, it's very funny. It just looks dreadful next to the um, the scales <laughs> I've laboured over. <laughs> like the rows are saying, like, it off to else. yeah. You like you know when you're in an animation studio, it's like, oh, we haven't got time. We're gonna have to get in a pretty large studio to do yeah. <laughs> that. Oh, excuse me. It's great. I'm currently currently painting the stuff on his ankles, which is neither on the close-up camera, nor can you see my face on the face yeah, camera. Yeah, it's like you just checked oh, it out. Yeah. God, I can't get over yeah, you can, how... how... You can see my brush is doing something. Yeah. I can't get over how good that sheepskin looks, though. It's brilliant. Yeah. Oh, it looks really great. good. You've both done so much. I've just aggro. done, like... The thing is, though, Johnny, <laughs> like, don't beat yourself up, because I think... You make progress a lot faster on big models because you can be way rougher. Yeah, uh, true. Yeah. Because they're so large. And I can fit this whole thing in my mouth. You can't do that with yours. Exactly. Well. I don't know. I have try. a pretty big mouth. Yeah, I could give it a I go. Mean, you both have. That's I don't true. know about Loli's one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think the wingspan, you'd struggle to widen that. I mean, I, I, yeah, it's also quite spiky, so I feel like I would puncture my cheek if I tried. No, no, no. It's pronounced spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like spice. Oh. Jesus, Karen's pronounced the quiche. <laughs> spice is the spice of life. No. Hmm. And you have to spice up your life. No, I don't. Oh. Well, that's what the Spice Girls said, so. Where are they now? I think they'd know. They're, you know, they're in various <laughs> places, some of them more successful than others. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Which means that. I, I reckon on average it, it's a good bit of advice. <laughs> yeah. I bet you if you made a graph of how sp- spicy their lives got spiced and how 
yeah. successful they are. I like that you didn't use the word were. You... <laughs> exact, exact correlation. Exact correlation. <laughs> yeah, you have to remember that whilst it was the motto of the Spice Girls in general, it doesn't mean that every single individual member of the Spice Girls follow. Well, it's spice up recently. your life. It's, a, it's an individual thing. Yeah. You know, it's, it's personal. What's more personal than spicing up your own life, you know? Sometimes you have to practice what you preach. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you still talking? Both of Incredibly, you? yes. Yeah, yeah. No, still going. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Somehow, Lolis. I think we weren't, but here yeah. we are. <laughs> um, hmm. Kind of a bit messy. <laughs> it looks good, though. The shades are really, really, like, getting in there. I like it. Get in there. Get in there. Um... <laughs> All right, Winston. What's the chat saying? Oh, that looks so good. Mm. Yes, I'm, uh, yeah, Wheels is, is really cracking into this. It looks great. Oh, it's, it, mate, it's all Agrax. Don't, you know, don't give me any fault. It's thank, thank Mr. Agrax Earthshade. Thanks, Mr. Agrax Earthshade. <laughs> of Ab Agrax and Earthshade Company. <laughs> what are you thinking, lolies? Uh, not much. Oh. Just looking at chat. Oh, okay. What's chat thinking, ladies? What are you <laughs> thinking, chat? <laughs> metal, metal, metal. Boop, boop, boop. Someone says I must be cheating. Yeah. Yeah. That's what miniature paint is all about, my friends. He actually, he's got a dozen of those, and every 20 minutes, someone's just been handing him a new one. It's not even any paint on his brush. I've got Big Man Dunker behind me. <laughs> Two thin coats. Two thin coats. Two thin coats. Base coats. Johnny is doing some base coats. Base coats, base coats are waiting for you. Quite enjoying this, A lot of base this MS paint aesthetic I've got on the actual rider. <laughs> Versus the snack. Nate Crowdy guest appearance. <gasps> what? No, I meant the MS paint. Oh, yes. I would, I would love for him to be in chat, but unfortunately that's not what I was saying. Alas. All right. Here's where we're at so far. Looks so, so good. I really I'm like very it. Very jealous. Yeah. You're going to finish that, uh, this sucker up? You've got to. Yeah. You love painting a big lad. I might, yeah, I might wow. just do it. Wow, phrasing. I said what I said. I love big lads. I like lads and I like them big. There you go. I know what I want. <laughs> I really, 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 really want to paint a big lad. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be my big lad. Oh, wow. Uh... You've got to be okay with paints. Oh, paints. <laughs> hey, I'm not here to kink shame. Mm. Oh, this poor kobold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a helmet. That's a helmet. That's a helmet. Okay, let's get. I don't really have like a icy blue wash. We get one. One of my very good friends has just had a delivery of uh, paints. He's getting he's getting back into the hobby. That made me very happy mm -hmm. today when I got a picture from him. I can imagine. I said to him, "Yes," I said. Yes. In big capital letters. I said, "Yes." To let him know I was excited. <laughs> I feel like I would understand that to be excitement if somebody said that oh, to me. Oh, big time. Good. Yeah. Well, a couple of super chats here. Stephen Harris says, Johnny using the bucket fill tool next. Johnny using the what? What? Uh, the bucket fill tool next. Yeah. As in the bucket from MSP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Which would be very handy for a model of this Lovely thing. bucket uh, And then Hello, Jiken has done another super chat, but has not put a message in. So if you did do that by accident, 
so you can let us know what your message is. Either way, we're grateful for it. Thank you very much. Ah. A bit of metal on him now. This has gone really quickly. We've only got six minutes left. Mm. Oh, I've been having a great time. I love painting big miniatures. Uh, I enjoyed pushing myself to paint uh, these scales. They haven't come out quite how I expected, but I'm pleased with the result. I think you should be, mate. They're looking good. Uh, but I'm I'm like upset as to how little I got done in almost two hours. In fairness, uh, Ro- you've had a lot of basing yeah. today. <laughs> Rome was not built in a day. <laughs> Looks good though. I think. What is your dragon's name though? That's the most important. Question. Richard. 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 Big dick. <sighs> Big dick energy. <laughs> Large Richard That's energy. One of his power ups. I'm now racing. If I say that, no, you know you're talking about my dragon. All of the base stuff here, but I should slow down. <sighs> and then I'm going to see until Monday. You're going to see. I'm going to see. See if these. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I took tomorrow off work just so I could play it. Oh. Having a Viking funeral. Big old update. Okay. Oh, is there? Yeah. Gonna put him on a burning boat. Yep. Wheel him off. Wow. Crikey. <laughs> and then he's back on Monday. It's then I'm back on Monday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, there was some big long live the king energy to that. Wheels, <laughs> brother, help me. Long live. Long live. Yeah, I think you're definitely him. You're Scar and I'm uh, Simba. Well, that means you win in the end. I don't know about that. <laughs> Avenge me, lolies. <laughs> I mean, it's all yeah, but I'm I'm definitely going around the place singing. I just can't wait to be yeah, king. Yeah, that's fair. And then you bugger off after the film, go eat bugs. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, what Lolis does in her time off is her own business. <laughs> and look, all of the rumors There's that all she. all the snacks I have in my yeah. snack drawer. <laughs> the rumors yeah. that her snack drawer is absolutely crammed with live insects have not been proven or disproven, uh, and it's <laughs> unprofessional to discuss them in such a public forum. Mm-hmm. Oh, look! Uh, we have a super chat from Carl Boosbing who says, "Lads, lads, lads, lads not lads, a club." Lads, lads, lads. Um. Also, me and very much enjoyed what I said there. Good. Thank I you, mean, man. Look, I'm not going to be around forever. One, one of these days, someone's going to fling me into a herd of stampeding wildebeest, and then you'll have to fend for yourselves. <laughs> There's only one way to go out for Johnny, and that's it. Yeah, that's the one. Yep. Another super chat here from Smash Branda Scooch again. Stop it! Smash! Stop! Uh, for the Protect Johnny from Wales fun. Oh, thanks. From from the country Wales. Oh, no, I love Wales. Mm-hmm. There's Wales I'm afraid of. <laughs> that's, thank you. That's know. that's going into the Harpoon Fund. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, of all people, actually, you should have a harpoon. I've got a whaling tattoo on my leg. It does have a harpoon on it. I know you've... I know you've got the axes, but I feel like they'd be less useful. I can't show you the whaling tattoo because it is right up my thigh. Um, but it's a <laughs> it's right up my it's a whale it's a whale skull and jawbone with a blubber spear. Uh, sorry, a blubber spade and a spear. Both of them are broken, and it's all wrapped up in uh, rope. My friend Wes did it, and it's a lovely piece. And it makes me feel a little bit braver whenever I contemplate the horrifying monstrosity of whales. So there. The, the animal, the mammal. I really like the country of Wales. Yeah, take that, Cardiff. Cardiff's, Cardiff's <laughs> a perfectly nice, it's a nice place to have a, a few pints of an evening. It's a perfectly valid, valid destination. He's just, he's just terrified of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, we should probably start <laughs> wrapping this up. So let's yeah, have one, so. one last update. So, and we will, we will stick these on Instagram. But, oh, come on. Just focus. I am. I was talking to my webcam. <laughs> That's my snack and the just big purple kobold rider. Uh, a grimace from McDonald's. Um, that, was, that was fun. I actually pushed myself a bit there and I got some interesting results out of it. So, hooray. Good times. Um, Wheels has painted an astonishing amount of this this um, absolutely 
honking massive mini, and it looks it looks great. Yeah. Uh, lowly. I was not prepared to do this much. So look. Although the Agrax has been uh, doing a lot of work for me. So look. So look. That's great. Yeah. I mean. Hats off to you for covering that much of the model in such a short space of time, to be perfectly honest yeah, with you. Goodness and gracious. you know what? If you've been at home um, and you've been crafting away, well done to you as well for all of your stuff. And if you haven't, well done to you for just taking some time to chill out and unwind with us, the Dicebreaker video yeah, team. That's, fine. Um, that's also fine. So, yeah, uh, we have been painting, as uh, you you know should have been able to see from the box being in the middle of the screen Sorry. the entire time. We've been painting some minis from Epic Encounters. Um, and just yeah. very quickly, because you can't see, there is a super chat oh. from Carl Boosbing who says, You got my name right here is another Oh, amazing. Thank you, Carl. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, don't forget, you know, as ever, you can go to dicebreaker.com for lots of written features. You can get Dicebreaker merch at dicebreaker.myshopify.com. Um, and well, you already know where the channel is because you're watching this video, but um, do like and subscribe and ring the bell icon so you don't miss anything else from us. Um, but apart from that, have a lovely. Uh, morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are. And uh, yeah, we'll speak to you very soon. Thanks for watching. Crash Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>